A very single person listening to the sound of my voice. If you can run for a local election, do it. Ken, thank you. That was great. You're listening to Tom Hartman. Visit TomHartman.com for audio and video archives. Speaking the truth, the multinational corporations would really rather you didn't know all about. Tom Hartman here with you. We'll be back on Anything Goes Friday. And welcome back. Mark Taylor Canfield, do you have a report from uh, the Washington legislature? Yeah, Tom, the concept of a basic guaranteed income is getting more popular in communities across the country. Norway has a universal basic income, and now there's a proposal right now. So does Alaska, by the way. Yes, there's a proposal right now in the Washington State Housing and Human Services Committee. And a couple of weeks ago, I gave public testimony in favor of H. 2009 and it would establish the evergreen basic income trust to fund such a pilot program here but it's also as you said it's in alaska but it's being proposed in california and other states as well as a way to help alleviate poverty and there's a group called mayors for a guaranteed income and tacoma by the way has a pilot program right now where some families are receiving 500 dollars a month but the mayors for a guaranteed income their motto is mlk had a dream of guaranteed income and as mayors of 11 U.S. cities, we're bringing that dream to life. And you can find more info at mayors for agi that's M-A-Y-O-R-F-O-R-A-G-I dot org. It includes mayors from Oakland, Atlanta, New York, Los Angeles, St. Paul, Jackson, and other cities. And I think it's an idea hit, whose time has come, especially in Washington State, where we have no state income tax. So we have billionaires like Elon Musk and, well, not here, but, you know, in our state, we have Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos continuing to accumulate more wealth than anyone has ever imagined was possible and Howard Schultz and making more money per minute than most people make, you know, an entire year. An and entire you know, lifetime. Washington, yeah, and we're suffering from a major uh, lack of affordable housing here. We have a most regressive tax system in the United States with so a 10% sales tax in Seattle. So I think we owe it to our residents of our state to provide a basic income so people can lift it out of poverty and enjoy at least some the basic minimum quality of life that Washington could provide. And I'm also convinced that crime rates would be lowered, mental and physical health would improve across the state, and at least some of the people living in the houseless tent communities in our major cities would have a chance to have a decent life for themselves and their children because, you know, let's face it, no matter how many social services we offer people, without a basic income, we're still left without adequate financial resources yeah. to cope. You know, you know Mark, we already have a basic income program all across the United States that has been working for almost 100 years, it's 90 years now, and, uh, but it's only available to people over 65, it's called Social Security. And the, there have been just zillions of studies, uh, probably actually thousands, but you know, over the years showing the impact, how that reduced poverty among the elderly, how it's, it's reduced mortality among the elderly, how, you know, all the positive benefits of Social Security. And uh, it's just a basic income program. You know, it's, it, it, there are gradations in how much you get, which, you know, have to do with how much you earn throughout your life. And I think that needs to be adjusted quite substantially. But um, it, this should not be, you know, I, and frankly, I think the basic income people should be pointing to Social Security because we've already done this experiment. What do you think? Yeah, you're correct. I think FDR had that in mind, you know, and it was a way especially of alleviating poverty for uh, our seniors because, you know, at that before that, you know, there were people starving because there was no income for them. There was no way, no pensions for a lot of workers. Right, and that's so, true yeah, now, I, people I, under 65, and so, hey, let's have a Social yeah. Security for America. You know, like we're talking about Medicare for all. You know, people over 65 have, you know, free medical care. Why don't people, and, and so let's give that to people under 65. People over 65 have, you know, a little bit of cash that comes in every month. I, you know, I'm an old fart. I get a check every month from the Social Security Administration. And it makes a big difference. And why isn't that true of everybody in the country? So I, I'm with you, Mark. Good luck on that. And, and uh, thanks for, for, uh, for the reporting and, and for the work you're doing there. We'll be right back. Uh, it is uh, 10 minutes before you are. Hey, thanks so much for sharing our program and for reaching out to our stations and sponsors and letting them know that you're listening. It really means a lot to us.